uh, you come into uh, an expect the audience has an expectation, and you're not necessarily working in conspiracy with them. They're coming in, they might be expecting, you know, it's a choice between this or Mary Poppins, and they got somehow mistake, they got tickets to the Scottsboro Boys. They're not going to go home happy. So the thing, though, is that, um, but you have to protect the integrity of that show, because if you don't, the show itself would then become, you would have done a terrible disservice to what you intended to do, and what we've been talking about all, all afternoon. It's a challenge, and, and, and quite honestly, I hope that we're okay. Because it's the kind of thing where we can't look at this audience. You, you know, we, as much as we have to play to the audience and let the audience in now on the process, um, their expectations on a Broadway situation are, are different. The ticket's expensive. You know, it, it, there's no doubt about it. And, and, and there's a lot of competition for that same airspace. So it's challenging. I wish that the off-Broadway model existed where you could run a show that had um, more than four people in it six people, you know, but to put a little teeny orchestra on a show off-Broadway breaks the bank. You know, there are no understudies. There's no swings. There's no, you know, the world, the economic model doesn't let you do a long run. Um, and those theaters exist because they run short runs and they have subscribers and that's how they survive, which is which is how it exists now. I wish it, I wish it still did, but um, but it doesn't. So, I mean, coming north to Broadway in this case is, is, uh, is the only option we have to keep it running, and, and uh, we'll see. But it is, it, it, we have to be careful, because on the other hand, we can't find ourselves chasing that audience um, expectations. Yeah, I mean, for, for Yank, it is definitely a question, and I'm, I'm a total neophyte, so I'm, I, I have to figure out and learn how to make Yank um, have its intimacy, which it really wants to have, and also feel big enough for, uh, to, fill, to fill a space like that. Um, luckily, our director, David Cromer, is awesome, and you know, that's part of his job, uh, to create those you know, iconic moments that fill a theater. Um, I, uh, you know, I'm torn. I mean, uh, an off-Broadway run of Yank could, was just not a, an option financially, um, but Yank is such a love song to Broadway musicals that I feel like the ghosts inhabit the theater space it will be in, and that will make it in some ways a better show because it's it's a Broadway musical that could never have been written in its time, you know, and so that, that'll ghost Yank in a really beautiful way, I think. So that's, that's what I'm looking forward to with Broadway, but it's, it, I mean, I'm in rewrites right now, and part of it's to figure out how to preserve what people already love about it, but make it an event that, that is an event, because I think Broadway's more of an event than, than off-Broadway, so. Yeah, this, this model that's happening, um, the non-for-profit off-Broadway, um, is, is the most successful usage, I think, at least financially and also in terms of development of, of shows, um, because the financial situation that we've all been talking about is just so difficult. I mean, it's so interesting to see what's happened with Avenue Q, that they found this incredible new life off-Broadway after the Broadway, and I think that's a model that we might see. We might see shows actually running off-Broadway <laughs> after their Broadway run. <laughs> 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 But I, I go I back into that, development after that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think that we knew at second stage that um, what we were trying to find out was how our show worked, how people were taking our show, um, and what's the audience for our show. We never thought, okay, then if we go to Broadway, we're going to spice it up and come up with some, you know, I mean, so so Forest I, I girls. exactly. exactly. <laughs> Um, and so there was never that question. I, I was never worried about the integrity. It's, it, it was always about the work, and that's why we went to Arena. Again, never talking about Broadway, and Broadway wasn't a conversation we had at Second Stage either. We just weren't interested on, in getting next to normal right at that particular time and then seeing what the future holds for it. But I think that's, that's something every artist deals with, you know, um, because there is a commercial aspect to what we do, but there are, there's a strong artistic aspect that we try to be true to. And, but you have you need people to come see your show, and you need to sell tickets to your show, to um, you know to be able to survive, to be able to to support yourself and continue in your art, um, and and to hopefully work on, on other shows. But I think that with Next to Normal, that question didn't really come up, and, and I was really glad it didn't. And with that, I want to thank. I think it's we have to wrap it up. Uh, but thank you to this incredibly talented and articulate panel.